Welcome Starfarer. My name is Kevin Jardine and I'm a galactic cartographer. I make maps of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. I built this starship so that we can travel the Milky Way to explore and be amazed together. Until recently, a detailed accurate map of a large region of the Milky Way was impossible and all the images we had were speculative artists' impressions. That has now changed with the European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft, the most accurate surveying instrument ever made. Gaia has launched the greatest cartographic adventure since the European discovery of the New World. Gaia's twin telescopes have mapped a large region of our galaxy out in detail. As you explore this starship and use it to travel the Milky Way, you will encounter many maps, and I want to explain a little bit about how they were made. The Gaia mission has compiled distance estimates, color, magnitude, and other parameters for almost two billion stars. Astronomers have used this data to determine information for star clusters, dust clouds, ionized hydrogen gas, and other objects. Of course, mapping these objects is very different from mapping the surface of the Earth. When we decide to map the Earth, there are many parameters we can show. For example, this image is a topographic map showing elevation. This map shows country boundaries. This map shows population distribution. We can borrow many of the mapping techniques used by terrestrial cartographers to map the Milky Way. Instead of elevation, we can map hot star density. Instead of mountain ranges, we can map vast chains of dust clouds. Instead of cities and towns, we can map star clusters and regions of ionized hydrogen gas. Many of the algorithms that I have used to map star density and dust concentrations are taken from medicine, where they are used to compute tissue density based on MRI scans. In a sense, the galactic maps you can see on this starship are MRI scans of the Milky Way. I hope that someday many people will become as familiar with the maps that the Gaia mission has given us as those of the Earth's continents and that these maps will inspire us to continue our exploration of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Smooth sailing.